Acts 16, chapter verse 16 to 18. I'm so glad you took the opportunity to listen to Life Journey. Glory to God International. I need your help. I want you to subscribe to my channel. I want you to give me a thumbs up and keep on, my friend. Keep on praying for Life Journey. Glory to God International. My subject today is why the spirit of diva is a spirit of witchcraft or witches. Hey, glory to We know who divas are. Divas are those famous singers. Hey, glory Beyonce. Hey, glory to God. And the, the list goes on, my friend. There are a lot of people that divos. Divos is the man. So let me read Acts the 16th chapter, verse 16 18. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masses much gain by suit, saying, The same followed Paul and us, and Christ, saying, These men are the servant of the Most High will show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee, in the name of Jesus, come out of her. And he came out the same hour. My message today is, why the spirit of diva is a spirit of witchcraft or witches? Because diva for men and diva for men. Diva for women and diva for men. She she saw through the third eye and made a a, a living off a fortune teller or two saying. We're talking about I'm talking about the woman, the damsel that was possessed with the spirit of divination met us. Met who? Paul and Silas. The word diva comes from the Latin word deus, meaning devil. The Italian word is diva meaning goddess. The perplex is diva, is, is short for the word divination. And a, a diva is a female goddess or woman that is worship. And we know it's true. Anytime a person is diva, they are worshiped by many people. In the olden days, glory to God, before I, I got this message, is opera, opera singers that was divas. So diva who had this going on in the Bible called virtuous, not diva. A diva is a witch. A diva have a third eye, become the divine discovery by guessing. 10 reasons why the spirit of diva is a spirit of witchcraft or witch. Hey, glory to God. When I say 10 reasons why the spirit of diva is a spirit of witchcraft or a witch. Now, this is 10 Ps. This is a spirit of pride. This is not of the Father, but of the world. The spirit of being princess think you should be worshipped because of your talent or of your ability. The spirit of pomp, ceremony, and splendor display. I must, I must put another one on, which is called a peacock. The peacock is a diva because it's a male and it's, it, it brings out his flip feather. I'll show you, glory to God, the peacock is. So number one, he glory the spirit of pride. This is not of the father, but of the world. Number two, the spirit of being a princess. Think you should be worshiped because of your talent or your ability. Number three, the spirit of pomp, ceremony, and display, hallelujah, splendid display. Number four, the spirit of python, to strong the breathing of those around them. A python wrapped itself around a victim and does not allow it to inhale. The victim can even exhale. Number five, the spirit of poison to hurt those that are weak and afraid of them. I'm talking about the spirit of diva, the spirit of a portion, hallelujah, to X those the, who are not saved by Jesus Christ our Lord. So if you are not saved, get ready for the spirit of portion to ex you because you are not saved. Number seven, they are possessed by demonic influences in their character because of pride. Number eight, they portray high class in music or acts or acting or celebrity status. The, the Luciferian mark because a diva mean devil worshiper. What I mean? A diva mean devil worshipers. 
they are they are the pri prince because they think they ought to be worshipped as goddess or gods of this earth. Eve got deceived by listening to the serpent and saying, you be like gods knowing good and evil. He glory to God. I'm going to tell you this, number 10, they are pastors in our churches, the prosperity pastors. They want to be called reverent, to be reverent. They want us to worship them like the pastor in South Africa was kissed on his feet and money was dished out to him. I have a clip of this event. Celebration, come on. It's a celebration. The Bible says, my friend, in Hebrew 12 28. What does it say, Hebrew 20, 20, 28? And it's amazing that we, as being people of God, we got to know that reverence is only to God. I correct people when they call me reverend. I'm not to be reverend. God is the only one that ought to be reverend. So when we say that in verse 10, there are pastors in our churches, the prosperity pastors, they want to be worshipped and call themselves reverent or reverence. They want us to worship them like pastor, the pastor in South Africa was kissed on his feet and money was dished out at him. I have a clip of this event. And I'm going to say this, my friend. Jim Jones one of them to reverence him. And what happened? He killed so many. Apple White killed people with a UFO. And I have a picture, my friend. And the reason why, because, glory to God, they believe and they reverent Apple White. Helen G. White is worshipped as a, as a spirit of prophecy. And we know that the spirit of prophecy is Jesus Christ. It's not Helen G. White. It's amazing that how even Sung Mung Moon, Sung Mung Moon want to be worshipped. Yes, he want to be worshipped. That's why he have, he have a thousand and fifty people that don't know themselves. They get married at RFK Stadium. They are the people that sell roses on a sidewalk or on a highway selling roses for three dollars. That's what you're saying, preacher. I'm saying men are not to be worshipped because men is man. And they're not to be worshipped. They are God. The Bible says they're going to be die like mortal men. What I'm saying to you, my friend, a diva mean devil. A diva mean divination by short. And a divorce is all for the same thing. But I'm going to focus on witches. Because women that call themselves divas are witches. Because they have the third eye. The third eye is ability to see. Hey, glory to God. They have dimensional eye. So a person that calls himself diva, they want people to worship them as gods. And I'm not going to worship you. I worship God. I worship the invisible God. I'm not going to worship you because you're famous or you're a celebrity or you're an actress or actress or you're a basketball player. No, I'm going to worship God. So, the, so in Hebrews 12, chapter, verse 38, it say, Wherefore we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we have served God acceptable with reverence and godly fear. Do you fear God? If you fear God, you don't worship these people that call themselves reverent. I hope you enjoy the clip as I show you this man in South Africa is worshipped by these people that are ignorant. Yes, I said it, they are ignorant because God is the only one ought to be bowed to. 
not this uh, that this uh, Kala, or whatever his name is. My friend, God is all to be worshipped, not men, not women. I don't care if you you a greatest singer. I don't care if you Lady Gaga, Amen, Rihanna. I don't care who you are. You not to be worshipped. God is only to be worshipped, not man or woman. So what your celebrity like 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 Kobe? Kobe's dead. Hallelujah. He's dead like a dog. Hey, glory to God. Jesus Christ is alive. It's amazing how people don't worship Jesus, even though he's the first begotten of the dead. Kobe, my friend, he's a human being. He's not God. I'm not going to worship no Kobe. I'm not going to worship Michael Jackson. I'm not going to worship uh, Prince Nelson. I'm not going to worship, glory to God. All these people have died. And y'all still worship them as being God. They know God. They dead. Hallelujah. Michael Jackson's dead. They're still playing a song and they still say, look at look at look up Elvis Presley. He's been dead for so many years and people still say that they saw him downtown.